Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Melissa or Missa. A happy, warm, welcome, welcomey day to you all. Anyway, today I'm carrying on my in-depth makeup collection videos with swatches and we're going to be doing highlights on this lovely day. It's not actually a lovely day, it's horrible outside. Uh, this makeup look, if you're wondering, is from my last video which was testing the ABH Norvina Volume 5. If you missed it, I'll link it down below, I'll forget, just go back on my channel. But yeah, today we're going to be looking at highlights, swatching them all, looking at them all, seeing what my collection entails, probably not decluttering, will I get rid of some? It's very possible. So yeah, if you want to see that then please just do keep on watching and if you missed it I did a three part series on all my eyeshadow palettes which I'll also link down below and I will also forget to link down below so I'm really professional. So yeah, anyway, let's get into it, I'm ready to swatch some beautiful things. Sausages, this is not about you. My sweet angel. Oh, she's my good boy. Oh, stretches. Stretches, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. <laughs> okay, so I've taken all the highlighters out of my drawer. I do actually have quite a few in my new in drawer because I've not played with them yet. I've not put them into my main collection, so I cannot, therefore, Swat well I could swatch them but also I've like flipped my desk around now the, dr the drawer is sh like I can't get to it. So we're going to begin. Um, let's do kind of like brands at a time. I like doing it that way. So I have three highlighters from Kaleidos and I've kept these three kind of I think for a reason as in I really like the shades and I've had most of their highlighters and they're really nice but these are the ones that I actually reach for so first up we have the kind of oddest one this is called Skywalker A love that name because it's Star Wars B it's blue and it's very 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 nice so I use this quite a lot when I do blue eyeshadow looks and I want to have like a pop of blue on in the inner corner or something like that. I never use it on my face. I never use colourful highlighters on my face. I just don't think it's like my kind of look. Then secondly I have Solar Sailor which is a very golden toned highlight and I kept this because I, it's probably the most golden shifty one I have so quite often if I do like my really strong yellow or orange blush looks this is one that I'll use because I feel like it really adds to that kind of yellower reflect and makes everyone real pretty. I can't remember how much these are. Um, and then lastly I have Ray Rider which is the one that I use very often day to day because it is the most beautiful shade in the world. It really suits my skin tone and uh, it's kind of like Benefit Cookie but I wouldn't say quite as extreme. It's more like a daytime one for me. Um, I'd probably reach for it probably one of the most often in my whole collection. It's got quite a big dip in it. I feel like I'm going to hit pan soon. So yeah, that's my three Kaleidos ones. They are stunning, well worth the money. They've got that like holographic one that I've still not been able to get my hands on. It's just too expensive, but these are cheaper because they're not like as fancy as that one. And I would say get them. Absolutely get them because they are great. Then I have two Maybelline. Face Studio Chrome Extremes. I've got the shades Diamond Glow and I also have Sandstone Shimmer. These are stunning. Um, Maybelline is not really a brand I think of for highlighters, but these are incredible. In fact, I got well, I got this one in Superdrug. That's the shade. It's absolutely stunning. Please don't knock that box off. You're going to cause a big commotion big commotion. Yeah this shade is probably what I reach for most often in my drugstore highlighters because it's just so stunning and then I also have sandstone shimmer which I picked up as you can see in TK Maxx $3.99. Absolute bargain. Although to be honest you can always get Maybelline makeup on Amazon for real cheap. So that is sandstone shimmer. They're both very pretty. I reach for them an awful lot to be honest but sometimes do you know what? I put them on I'm like whoa that's too much for an everyday makeup look Melissa and I know the words too much and makeup don't go together but like if I have an occasion where like I'm going to see Greg's mum or something I don't want to look too ridiculous so I will put something a bit more subtle on. I have three highlighters from Hojo 
which you can get on Amazon. I also think you can get them on AliExpress and I started my obsession with these when I found a dupe for the ABH Amrezi, which I also have here. So I'll swatch them side by side. And um, So I've got shades, what's that? Shade two, so I'll put that in the middle. Shade three and I have shade one. Um, so we've got a pink, a gold and like a white and this gold one is what I say is a dupe for Amrezi. Hopefully you can see that there. So I'll swatch them all and then I will swatch the Amrezi beside it so you can see. So I'll do that one last. So this is the very palest one. I think these are like 5 99 on Amazon and I think they are fantastic. They are so bright and beautiful. Honestly, I never really reach for these two. I only really reach for my Amrezi dupe. Although to be fair, this pink one is very pink. So if you want something to go with like a pink eye look, then that could be a total shout. Um, so that's one and three. And then shade two, this is my favorite. This is why I never ever reach for my Amrezi anymore because I don't need it. And to be honest, no one can get the Amrezi anymore. So that is the gorgeous shade three. And then this is it beside the Amrezi from ABH. They are almost identical. Can you see that? I did a whole video comparing this to the Amrezi one. So if you want to see that video, um, I'll try and link it below. I'll probably forget. But look how similar they are. Almost the same. The price difference is insane. And also you can get the Amazon ones now, whereas you cannot get this anymore, I'm pretty sure. Also, I had the new Iced Out highlighter from ABH, but I decluttered it because I thought Solar Sailor from Kaleidos was nicer and I already had it, so I gave the Iced Out one to my lovely friend Rebecca because I thought she would enjoy it. Then we'll do, let's do a little bit of Benefit. I've got a few from Benefit, I think that's them all. So I've got a few palettes and a couple of, what are they, liquids. So first up I've got my mini bronze squad, which I bought initially for Cookie, but also it's really handy if you're going anywhere because you've also got Gold Rush Blush, which is really pretty, and Hula. Um, I won't swatch that Cookie just because it'll be hard. I'll swatch my single one just so you can see it. So I've got that. Then I've also got Cheeky Camper. Um, that's actually all blushes. Great, that can go in my blush drawer. Ignore that. So then I have Cookie, which is the bee's knees. We all know how I feel about Benefit Cookie. I could probably, like if I had to, if I had to only keep one highlighter in my whole collection, it would be Cookie because it is my favorite. It's the most beautiful thing that Benefit have probably ever released. Followed secondly by Hula Light. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So that's Cookie. That's the best thing ever. And then I've got What's Up, which is a cream highlight, which I don't really reach for a whole huge amount. You can, I can just see it there because it's quite a subtle one, but it's actually very nice as a base for putting powders on top. So like putting cookie on top of that. It just kind of amps it up a bit. Um, put it in the back half. Yeah, it just kind of amps it up a bit and gives it a bit more. And then one that I bought a while ago and I do really love, it's called Eye Beam. And I saw swatches of it, I think it was on Trend Mid or something, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get that. Because a cream highlight is quite different from a liquid highlight, and I really like a liquid highlight as well. So this is Eye Beam, and it's to me like a liquid version of Cookie. So again, I'll use that like when I do all my creams and then I'll go over the top with a bit of cookie. But you can see they're all very similar in tone. But yeah, Benefit really does know how to do highlighters and I would never get rid of any of these. I don't think we could get rid of anything in this video to be honest, but real good. In fact, let me just do my three stick highlighters that I have, even though they're not the same brand. These are very different price points. I've got Makeup Revolution, very cheap, Fenty, Expensive, but not as expensive as Natasha Denona. So, this is the Revolution Glow Stick, is it? This one is in Champagne. And I got it because I'm just addicted to cream and uh, like, yeah, cream and liquid highlighters. 
this is very much like hold on I need to do I'll do it on this hand because this hand has less glitter on it this is very much like a sheer ever so slightly champagne glossy kind of thing I use it only as a base for like putting other highlighters on top because it's more like a it gives like that glass skin effect it's beautiful it's really nice and it doesn't disrupt my makeup underneath it but it's more I use it as a base I do really like it though and I would recommend it if you love that kind of glossy glassy skin effect that you can get and then in the middle I've got Fenty this is called Pearl and again this is a very much like uncolored just like glossy number hopefully you can see the difference it's got a bit more kind of golden tone to it but they're both very much like almost sheer clear glass skin type effect products which is not something that I'm getting mad at I love that style of product then I have Natasha Denona face glow this is in 01 light this really is stunning this is like benefit what's up but just for the bouge like it's just gorgeous I made well one of my sausages Lisa she bought this and then actually didn't like it so it's probably not for everyone but nothing's for everyone is it but I think it's personally really really beautiful again all these cream products they just work as a base for when you like build up other stuff on top and it just makes me really happy but yeah like that's the fa I've never actually swatched the Fenty and the Makeup Revolution together before and they are super similar except the Makeup Revolution is way more sheer and like non-coloured whereas the Fenty has a tiny bit of gold to it. So that's my other creams that I've got. I think that's the only other creams I have to show you. Again I've got a few in my new in drawer but I just I don't really want to get them involved. Wait I totally lied. I have another cream and I'll talk about this one at the same time. So these are both by W7 which is a brand I'm really kind of getting behind recently. Uh, I've done a couple of videos. Let's look at this. So this is W7 Glow, Commo Glow Commotion Extreme Ice. I found this in I think it was Home Bargains and I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. I've used it in a couple of videos but mostly I mean I've got so much makeup. A lot of it I'm just using in my own time. Do you know what I mean? Like it's hard to film with it all, all the time. I actually thought I hadn't pressed record there. This is really pretty and I would say quite a good cookie dupe if you can't get your hands on cookie or if you don't want to spend that much on cookie because it obviously is super expensive. I'd say that's a, a good alternative. And then when I was in that beauty outlet store I found Strobe Struck Cream Highlighter which I have swatched a couple of times actually this needs to go in my new indoor because I completely forget I have it and haven't like used it in a video yet so this is a cream highlighter it only thing is I think it's gonna be way too dark for me like I can maybe use it as like a base like all over to give my face a sheen but I don't know I've not tried it yet so I can't say really here or there if it's gonna be any good but that's the color compared to a color that actually works for me so we might have some issues there with, uh, is it going to work? Boys, one of you has either farted or done a poop and it smells. Let's move on. I've got a couple more Makeup Revolution ones. I have both actually from Soph. So this is her newest collaboration. This is in Sugar Frosting and I used this in the video where I tested her whole collab, well I tested this in the eyeshadow palette because I didn't really want anything else but this is pretty darn intense and do you know what, when I wear this Greg tells me that my highlighter looks nice so that's always a nice, a nice thing isn't it when someone actually notices so they're very blinding, very very pretty, do enjoy, do recommend, it's £8, no it's not, is it? yes yeah, £8 for two shades and I know they're bigger but I still think that's a bit expensive. I think that should have been six pounds maximum or sell them as singles. Do you know what I mean? But very good. And if you want to spend the money on it, would recommend. And then this is her original one from like a few years back. But it took me so long to buy this because it was a tenner. And I was like, oh, that's so expensive. Like, 
Makeup Revolution charging £10 for like highlighters. I can't believe it, but you see now I have it. I'm like, ugh, I so understand why it's the price that it is because it's so good. I don't really reach for these colourful ones. In fact, I never do. But the top four, I use those all the time. That's the top four. So as you can see, they totally work for my skin tone. All of them do. This third one maybe is a wee bit dark. And then that's the colourful ones. And a couple for darker skin tones. Um, yeah, they don't really appeal to me, but these, ugh. I wouldn't get rid of this palette just because I think it's so good. And as far as I know, it's not limited edition. They're still making it. You can still buy it. It's a tenner for eight shades. I do think a tenner, you know, it sounds quite expensive, but when you get eight shades, what on earth is that noise? So yeah, it's a tenner, and I think it's a wee bit pricey just because I only use four of them. So, I mean, you know, decide for yourself do you think it's worth it for, like, how many, however many shades you'll use. But for me, I wouldn't get rid of it. I really love it, and I like using it and supporting self. And then I have this one. This is by Josh Cosmetics. My friend Teresa gave this to me. This is in the shade Leafy, and... This is another colourful highlighter that I keep for the like the fact that it is colourful because I can use this when oh, I do green eye looks. This is something else. Like let me like swatch it so you can see me swatching it. It's just nutty. I don't know anything about Josh Cosmetics to be honest. Um, I heard like through the grapevine that they were turning a bit like MLM-y which I don't like, but I'm not going to get rid of this because it's so incredible for when I do green looks to so put on the inner corner or under the brow. Like, that looks like I'm holding liquid metal in my hand, right? Um, I had a couple other shades, but they just didn't work for my skin tone, so I don't use them, but yeah, that one is stunning and it's like the, what's it, that blue one from Kaleidos that I keep. I keep it for the fact of when I do colourful looks, I would like a colourful highlighter. I actually just cannot get it off. Let's go to Get Wet from Be Perfect. So these are the Stacey Marie collab ones. I've got Skin Sheen and Do You. Never reach for these, but I don't really want to get rid of them just because they are quite, they're quite interesting. And I feel like I've not really explored them enough. They're like a kind of cream feeling, slightly glittery, like putty glow. But when you put them on, they're very intense. I remember I used one in a video and I was actually quite blown away. That one's quite green toned, isn't it? That's a uh, skin sheen. Uh, Juju definitely suits me better. Yeah, they're quite interesting. And again, it's I like having them in my collection because they're from Stacey Marie. And I really like her as a person and just as a like makeup collaborator, creator. She just, she does really well. They are just quite glittery. So if you don't like glitter, like, I don't think you're going to like them very much. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about them that they don't like them. And I've heard a lot of people. Popple. A lot of people say that they do like them. So once again, it's one of those things, isn't it? Not everything is for everyone. And that's what makes life interesting. Then we can talk about... Oh, let's do this. It's been staring at me. Artist Couture. This is Coco Bling. My friend Daniela bought this for me because she just... She loves it and it's one of those products that you love so much that you want your friends to have and experience. This is stunning. It's very much, it's kind of like a loose benefit cookie and I'll quite often use it over the top of a highlighter that I've already used. The shade works on me perfectly. It's very beautiful. Artist Couture used to be on Beauty Bay. Let me have a quick moan. Why did they get rid of it? Why do Beauty Bay get rid of everything that is good and replace it with stuff that's not there that we can get here easily. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. It's gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. And I would definitely like to play with more artist culture and see see what they're all about. They have quite a lot of eyeshadow palettes, don't they, Arts Couture? There's one that I really liked. But again, they don't have them on Beauty Bay anymore, so like what are we supposed to do? 
I'm just like, baby, make the stupidest decisions that I've ever heard in the world. I've got three drugstore ones before I talk about three high-end ones. I've got a Beauty Bay, a Wet n Wild and a Milani. So, in order of expense, I think it would be this way, wouldn't it? So this is uh, Blossom Glow from Wet n Wild and I have majorly hit pan because it's amazing. I reach for this all the time. I cannot even tell you. It's one of my favourite highlighters. They had another one. I can't remember the name of it but it's too dark for me so I got this instead and it's gorgeous. It is like a slightly pinky toned highlighter. It's absolute perfection. Very inexpensive. And from what I know, Beauty Bay still have Wet n Wild. I hope. I just honest, I've not done a makeup haul in the longest time. Then I've got Beauty Bay Flash. This is their palest one and it is very pale. It's actually almost too pale for me like when I've got all my makeup on I put this on I just notice like a cast because it is so pale like it's all I kind of see but I think the next shade up is a bit too dark from what I remember but anyway look at it it's gorgeous I think it's a fiver well worth it and then this is Milani Dolce Perla this is one of my favourite highlighters in my whole collection I said earlier that the Rave Rider is what I reach for the very very most on a day to day basis but actually it might be tied with Milani Dolce Perla it took me ages to buy this because I thought it was rather expensive for like a highlighter from the drugstore but Milani isn't superly drugstore priced once it comes over to the UK but it is one of my favourites this is what I reach for when like I go visit Greg's family or like last weekend when I met his auntie and stuff for the first time this is the one I wore because it's quite it's not I don't want to say it's subtle but it's not in your face disco highlight it's just perfect I actually can't recommend this enough and doesn't it just look appealing in the pan all that baked goodness so yeah that's Dolce Perla and that's another one that I think if you're gonna buy any that you're you're seeing me touch today Make it Dolce Perla. I know it's expensive, but I really do think it's worth it. Then I have three more, and they are all high-end, like I said. I've got Fenty Diamond Bomb, I've got Ofra, what one? Star Island, and then I've got this Too Faced palette. So Diamond Bomb, I bought this, I think when it came out. I was so excited when I saw it, and uh, it's gorgeous. I really love it so much. I should probably swatch on this hand, because the other hand is just covered in glitter this is like a clear ever so slightly whitey champagne silvery like glittery putty feeling creamy feeling highlight it's one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life you see if you just like dab it over your other highlighter that you're wearing your dreams will come true again you're gonna need to like glitter but it's not like chunky glitter it's just very very fine stunningness. I love this. This will never go out of my collection. They have another one in this formula, maybe even more, like another one that would work for my skin tone. I do want to pick it up, but you know. Bills come first, annoyingly. Then Ofra Star Island. I know Ofra is going through a lot of beef right now, but I bought this ages ago, like well before any of that came out, so I'm not going to get rid of it just and like bin it. I might declutter it and see if someone else like one of my sausages like wants to buy it but I don't know I do like it do I reach for it not really especially now but it is gorgeous and if you're still buying Ofra then it's a, it's a really nice colour that they have but yeah I, I don't know it's just all these brands I'm telling you it's exhausting it's absolutely exhausting especially when they do such good products but anyway that's Star Island I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And then this was a birthday gift from Nina. This is the Turn Up The Light from Too Faced. I actually wore this middle powder the other day. So it's got three. It's got like a subtle all over glow. It's got like a, a glowy highlighter. And then it's got like a boom in your face. So this is like um, ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. So a swatch isn't going to really do very much. It's just a glowy all over powder. And then they've got the glow in the centre, well, on the left, I'm putting it in the centre, which is a really lovely, lovely highlight. 
They've got these face palettes in like all different colours, thankfully. And then the Dazzle has glitter in it, so it's a bit more, it's hard to describe, it's kind of more translucent, but with glittery flecks in it. I think the middle one is the nicer of the two highlighters, and then that soft focus powder is gorgeous as well. So this is actually a really lovely palette. I don't reach for it a lot because it is quite expensive, but it's very nice. Very, very nice. I quite like the packaging as well. It's just very Too Faced and a little bit bouge. A little bit love. Lovely. Um, so that's my highlighters. That only took me 27 minutes to film, actually. Um, I'm not going to get rid of any. I might get rid of Star Island, but if I do, then I do. I'm not going to make my decision right this second, but... Yeah, that's my highlighter collection. I'm very happy with it to be honest and I know I've got a couple new ones that I still want to try and I'm excited to try but for now like my collection's great. I'm, I'm really happy with it. It feels very complete and very nice. So yeah, let me know what you think and if there's any here that you're dying to try or that you've tried and you don't like and that I obviously like because all of these I like or I would have got rid of them in my last declutter um, or any that you really think I should have in my collection. That is always a dangerous thing to do though because I'm very easily led. There we go then, that is my collection. What do you think? I wonder if there's any that I forgot to include. If I did, oh well, big deal. There will be highlighters and palettes that I've not included but maybe we'll do palette, like face palettes in a different video. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. Do you want me to do blushes and stuff like that? Let me know um, and subscribe. I put out three videos a week and I'm actually hoping to move up to four videos a week. One video being a vlog each week, like maybe like a specific day or like a week of my life. Just all the all the cats, all the stuff I get up to. I don't know. Tell me if you think that's a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day and I hope I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye!